you are listening to The Rife Tea. Join us every two weeks where Imogen, Uella and Alexi will be chatting about current events over a cuppa and a Kit Kat. This week we're going to be talking about Doctor Who and gender. Doctor Who. Mm. Um, did you guys like? Did you see that? It, like they've announced on Monday who's going to be the Doctor Who, the new Doctor Who, which is Jodie Whittaker. There's been some. There's been mixed, mixed re- like mixed kind of reactions to it. I think it's generally been a positive reaction. Like I think this has been a long time in the coming. There has been a few negative comments there around have. it. There have. Mm. It's a Tardis, not a Bradis. <laughs> Uh, which is very mature, thank you very much. Yeah. It's hard to know whether it's just that people don't like the change of it just being, they just don't like something different to what they've had already, or whether it is like the change in gender. No, I, I just think it, it just really shouldn't matter. It's a fictional character. A lot less people have been watching Doctor Who and it does need some kind of change that like, I haven't watched it for quite a few years and I probably will start mm, watching it again yeah, now because it's a change it's something fresh and it's exciting why does gender matter why does it dictate that think, sort of thing although although we are kind of making progress like mm. there's very much like a lot of stereotypes associated mm. to each gender mm. it's a funny kind of look because it's like how can a colour have a gender it's but then so it's like odd. how can a human have a gender like imagine mm. the first human mm. Like, mm, they're just they human. They didn't. <laughs> very they, true. They, yeah, they didn't rock like that. They didn't. Like, <laughs> they didn't bang it out like that. Again, like with the sort of film industry, like there's mm. very like heavy sort of backlash on anyone who's cast into a role that they're not considered a match. Everyone thinks they're casting so. directors, don't they? When it comes to these <laughs> things. Exactly kind of have to look beyond that and think like where do they come from are they mm. are they sort of naturally in us or yeah. are they actually just sort of taught to us through the media through like our upbringing even um like birthday cards you get mm. they're very like gender gender like so you get so much unnecessarily just, gendered yeah random stuff gender was a way in which we organised our worlds. Mm. But now we don't do that, and it's yeah. like, do we really need gender now, in the same way? A lesson that we all have to learn as well, mm. as well as trying to open ourselves up a lot mm. more, is being making less assumptions about other people. Mm. One of the key ways to change things is, mm. is, you know, quite often more effective, in a more effective way, instead of preaching it, is just mm. to do yeah. it. We are going to be at the Harborside Fest this weekend. So if you're there, if you see us, say hi. Um, if not, if you want to link up, tweet us, let us know. At Rice Mag. At Rice Mag. We also had the great link on Wednesday night. Mm. How was it, guys? Did Amazing. Yeah? It was, cool. it was really cool. good. It was so good to see all of you guys. We had a great time and we can't wait for the next one. Let us know what you think the next theme should be. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.